In previous tutorial, we had a home page animation where we just animate the intro hero title and let's move to the blog. Uh, at the moment, we don't have any animation, so let's create the code block. Blog animation. We need a footer, we will probably need a header as well. And what I forgot to do in a previous tutorial is to narrow it down to the only one page. And at this point, we will do it on the blog. So the code is not uh, run on the entire website. So if you press all by the default, it's going to be run on the entire website, but we can narrow it just to the post or page or post type or the taxonomy. So we are going to publish it. Perfect. So we are ready to animate our blog. The first thing we need to do is we need to find the class that we are going to attach. So we need the oxy post and in the footer we are going to write uh, JavaScript and we are going to start with the uh, gsap2. We are going to open the brackets, we are going to add the class. After the class we are going to curly brackets and we definitely need to close this one okay then we will set the duration we will set the scale we can set the opacity and this time we are not doing the alpha if you remember from the previous tutorial because we are uh, going Instead of from, we're going to, to to, and we can do the, on the y axis 40 pixels, and let's see what we are getting. Nothing at the moment. Okay, we need to add the CSS. post opacity zero and uh, transform into the, the scale as well okay and what we can see now it's the all the animate uh, all the elements that have the class or oxy post are animating at the same time but uh, as you can see, that's a little boring uh, animation and let's uh, make it dynamic and we can do the animate one by one and we are going to do that with the stagger feature. Okay, so here we are going to add the stagger, duration between the elements. And as you can see, now it's animating one by one. Perfect. What we can do is uh, to push the staggers even more because uh, these settings is just the basing settings. And uh, if you go to the gsap.com uh, and they have the getting started documentation and uh, under the stagger sections, beside it, they explained how it's working. They also provided the code pen link. I'm going to put it into the description as well. And what you can see here is they have some kind of the code generator. And uh, every time you have some settings changed, uh, the code is changed, plus the animation preview is changed. So you can uh, see it's from the center, it's random, it's from the end. Uh, it can be on the axis as well. Uh, you can change the ease. But uh, let's just copy this one. And replace it with this. 
and let's update it a little so we don't need to put the number of uh, rows and the columns we can set it as auto as the green sock can detect it automatically as well let's just uh, save it and see how it's behaving okay it's going from the uh, x axis and it's going from the end and we definitely need it from the start okay perfect so we can have this we can even have the y axis perfect so uh, I encourage you to scroll down uh, watch the green sock uh, video where they explain in more depth uh, staggering and play with it and uh, until you are not happy with uh, your results so i enjoy i hope you enjoy this uh, video tutorial and more tutorials are coming soon so just uh, go to our video youtube channel and subscribe for more tutorials like this bye